So y'all are kind of weird and always asking me to wash my car. So I need to do it for a video that I'm gonna film tomorrow. Uh, so check that out, something is going in the wheel wells. So I figured I would film this and share it with you. It's getting late, so I wanna get started. But I basically have to wash my car twice because it's covered in dirt, as you can see. Um, so let me get started. I have everything kind of set up and I will voice over while I'm washing the car. And I will tell you about all the products I use and a couple of them are new to me. I, I just bought some new stuff. Um, so it'll be nice I can do the voiceover after and let you know if I actually like it or not. Um, and all links will be in the description for anything, my power washer, the soap I'm using, all that kind of stuff. If you end up enjoying this one, please hit like and get subscribed. The clean car will not last very long. Actually, you know what? Since I'm cleaning my car in this dirty Tesla, you should dislike this video. Everybody just dislike it. I want all dislikes. No likes at all. Also, I'm filming some of this B-roll stuff and I realized I want to tell you that this is not a tutorial or how-to. I do like to take care of my paint, but I do not go crazy over swirl marks and all this stuff that these guys obsess over. I want a clean car. I don't want to damage my car. Um, so that's kind of the extent of what I'm going to do. All right, so getting started here. I'm sure during this clip, you know, I make some mistakes. Again, I'm not that into washing my car. So feel free to comment down below, critique me, let me know what you think. Um, but I start off with my pressure washer and I do have a foam cannon on, uh, but initially I didn't have enough soap in there. So you'll see it gets a lot foamier later. Um, but I just cover the car completely in this foamy soap. I personally don't think the foam cannon is 100% necessary. I did plenty of washing without it, uh, but it's more fun to use and then it lets the soap last longer on the car. You don't want anything to dry out uh, before you can get around to rinsing the soap off. Um, so this initial pass, I just get soap everywhere. I let it soak just a little bit, uh, and then we'll move on to the rinse. For the soap I'm using, it's Chemical Guys Maxi Suds 2. Uh, it's cherry scented, so it wasn't really my favorite. I liked the Chemical Guys uh, Honey Foam, or honeydew or something like that. The green one, that one was really good. Uh, it smelled good. They both work really well in terms of cleaning the car. And I think this one was a little bit cheaper, which is why I ended up buying it. sure during this clip you know I make some mistakes again I'm not that into washing my car so feel free to comment down below critique me let me know what you think so after soaping the car and letting it soak in just a little bit uh, moving on to rinsing it all off and really blasting the dirt off so I use a high pressure nozzle here and normally you don't want to do that but I have all that dirt like caked on there so I really have to get it off um, and this is just my first pass. The main thing is when I go over any of the sensors, I just kind of back off a little bit, especially the repeater cameras on the front left and right side of the car. Those I don't get very close to with any of my high pressure nozzles. Um, but yeah, so I just go around the car here and I don't worry too much about getting all the soap off because I'm going to wash it again. I'm going to scrub it. Um, but what I do really want to do, and you'll see, is get all the dirt off using the high pressure. And then from there, I can scrub the car without rubbing a bunch of dirt into the paint. Now that I've gotten a majority of the dirt off, moving on to scrubbing, and you'd be surprised. You know, the car looks pretty clean, um, but there's still a lot of dirt all over the car. And by the end of this step, my buckets are filled with dirt. So I do use two bucket method. I don't have the little grate in the bottom or anything. And I really like this scrubbing thing. Uh, the pole just kind of helps me reach the car easier. And then the cloth at the end, you can take off and you can wash that to make sure it's clean in between cleanings. Uh, but yeah, I just go around pretty, pretty normal, just scrub the car off. 
uh, and try to get everywhere. It's kind of tough to get under, especially under the rockers and under the bumper in the back. Um, but yeah, I just go around and scrub everything and then we're almost ready to rinse it off. I'm sure during this clip, you know, I make some mistakes. Again, I'm not that into washing my car, so feel free to comment down below, critique me, let me know what you think. Moving on to rinsing, after I've scrubbed everything, gotten the car really soapy, uh, I use the 40 degree nozzle. This is the lowest high pressure nozzle and uh, should be fine for your paint, but again, when I go near the autopilot cameras, any of the sensors, I try not to get too close. But in this step, I'm just getting all the soap off. Uh, there shouldn't be any big chunks of dirt left. Sometimes, even <laughs> after drying, honestly, I'll find some. But if I find any, I'll get those off too. But just rinsing the car off, getting it ready to dry, which is the worst part. sure during this clip you know I make some mistakes again I'm not that into washing my car so feel free to comment down below critique me let me know what you think all right and finishing up with drying uh, this is by far the worst part of washing the car I don't know if I'm the only one that has a problem with this um, but you saw that I had Stephanie come out and help me just kind of start to dry as I'm rinsing off so if the car dries uh, just like naturally without you wiping it off it leaves water spots and you know I have well water so it's pretty hard and a little rusty um, but it leaves water spots and all this nasty stuff on there so you really need to wipe it off and and that's partially why I got this new turtle wax stuff um, I'll show you at some point you know the what it looks like but what you do is it's kind of like a, a wax as you dry and you spray it on your wet car and this stuff smelled pretty nice and it is awesome I love it the reviews on Amazon are really good I've heard good stuff about for a while and so I picked it up and I actually really like it if you've ever waxed a car you know it feels very smooth and slippery it was just like that um, and so this stuff worked really well I expect it to last a few months most people were saying it was lasting a long time um, so yeah drying off the car that's the end it's really annoying but once it's done it looks so good um, and then I go drive it and then it's dirty again instantly but anyway I hope you enjoyed this let me know if you have any questions um, I will leave you with a nice before and after of a dirty car uh, transforming into a clean car. Thank you.